Hello and welcome to LE10 News with stories from across Hinkley and Bosworth here on Hinkley Info, Best of Hinkley, Hinkley Times Online and Citizen's Eye. I'm Matthew Horbert here at the Community Media Hub in Leicester. Coming up, changes to how to pay bills in the area, preparing for an autumn fair and Barl Carnival judged a success. But first this week, the fight against people who spoil the environment through dog littering, dog fouling and graffiti is being stepped up in Hinkley and Bosworth. The six civil enforcement officers who already monitor car parking offences are joining the Borough Council's three neighbourhood wardens, three green space officers and an antisocial behaviour officer in clamping down on environmental crimes. They are now able to issue on-the-spot fines, fixed penalty notices, for offences such as littering, dog fouling, fly posting, littering from a vehicle, distribution of literature and graffiti. They will work with the neighbourhood wardens to target hotspots and particular crimes which are causing a problem, although their primary duty will still be dealing with car parking offences. Next this week, paying bills over the counter payments to the Borough Council will change later this month when the authority modernises its payment systems. From August 27th, residents and businesses will be able to use 17 post offices and a further 24 pay point outlets across the borough for the first time. With many of the pay point outlets being located in newsagents, convenience stores, supermarkets and garages, it's hoped that this will offer people greater accessibility and provide longer and more convenient opening hours. This new system replaces the cashier service that had been available within the council's offices on Argentmead in Hinkley. This follows a review which found a decline in traditional over-the-counter payments in recent years. Now, the George Ward Community Project, which helps to raise funds for Barwell's new £2 million community centre, is holding an awesome fair on Saturday, September the 25th. Running from 10am to 4pm, it's set to include a tombola, face painting, craft and art stalls, a chocolate madness tombola, sounds fantastic, and much more besides. I should give a declaration of interest here. Uh, I'm the chairman of the George Wood Community Project, so I hope to see as many of you as possible there on the day. So just a reminder, that's Saturday, September 25th, an autumn fair between 10 and 4 at the George Ward Centre on Church Lane in Barwell. And finally for this week, sticking with uh, Barwell, my home village, a great day was had on Saturday at our annual carnival. Thousands lined the streets of the village to watch the procession of colourful floats. Then, throughout the afternoon, there were stalls and much more besides on the field of Barwell Junior School. There was also a number of performances in the arena, including by the Stealth Black Belt Academy, and I got to interview people including the World Gravy Wrestling Champion, Joel Hicks. Uh, don't forget to catch me on Hilltop Radio each Monday and Friday from midday till 2. Uh, you can listen live via hilltop-radio.com and LE10 News is back next week. <laughs>